right now, Liz, let's get to our guest, please. Here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line. We need to get to the bottom of this. Get to the bottom of this. We've got to get to the bottom of this. The bottom line on the Mark Cox Show. That's the only way we're going to get to the bottom of this. That's the bottom line. Truth. You can't handle the truth. This is embarrassing. All right. I got Scott Jones in the uh, brand new studio with me today for the first time. Scott, uh, belly on up there to the mic. What's on your mind, my friend? I I just thought it was pretty funny when you yeah, whenever you first moved here and you moved over here and you said we can change we can take our cell phone numbers with us for 500 years but you can't <laughs> keep your same phone number for a block and a half and it's true isn't it i yes. mean you could move to idaho and take and, and port your phone number but we moved four blocks and we we had to change part of our call-in number i just thought i just thought that was funny i'm just a creature of habit i, I there's nothing i can do I, i've got that number mem- the old number memorized so i know i'm going to spit it out wrong at some point but fortunately it's about the only thing I get wrong. So how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just thought it was pretty funny. You just were playing the clip of um, that, that uh, would President, be President Trump's, Trump. Yeah, 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 President yeah. Trump's rah-rah speech. That and you, and you compared it to his campaign speeches where you listen to it and he's talking about a lot of things that I guarantee you that there were more than five power outages in the country in 1980. You think? I, would be, I had five at my house in, <laughs> in 1980. 1980. <laughs> in the 80s. He just said there were five power outages in this country in the 1980s. That's what he just said. And he got applause. Kind of like the well, Mexican, I mean, Mexico's you know, going to build the wall kind of thing. Well, he is going to build the wall. He said that no, today. He announced no, it again. The, no, Mexico oh, oh, is going to okay. pay for All the right. wall. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I, but you know what? I don't. You, you got to do what you got to do to get elected. I get that. It's okay. It's what you do once you get there. You know. Right. So in other words. That's going to get you reelected. You think he's making America great again? You're going to vote for him I, well, in 2020. I is that think, what you're saying? Well, no, I think America's already, <laughs> America was already great. Everything can be enhanced and improved. Like, I think there's nothing better than an infrastructure bill. I don't understand the hang-up. We got money. U.S. highways, rebuild them. You tried to drive to Kansas City lately? Well, you know, actually, <laughs> um, they're probably they're looking in the in the Missouri legislature. They're looking at, at putting a seven or eight cent a gallon gas tax on See, to pay that, for infrastructure. I think they should do tolls. I wouldn't do gas. I would do tolls. I think you. Should, I think Kansas City to St. Louis should have to be a toll road. Hmm. I think um, we'll go back to your home state. My son went to Western Kentucky University. Between the times I would go down there to officiate and the times he went to school there, the main turnpike from Evansville to um, Bowling Green, I'm not sure what that was, was a toll road. They made it very clear. This is how much money we need for the tolls. This is what your roads are going to be like. By the time he was a senior in high school, I mean a senior in college, he graduated four years ago, that's like driving down butter now. <laughs> because they got all the money. They, they got the money they needed, yeah, but, and but, they rebuilt it. But would the tolls on 70 alone take care of the problem? I guess that's the question. I'm not a big fan of any sort of tax increase with the gasoline tax, I guess it would be more of a user tax because the people driving on the roads are the ones that are going to pay more well, money to pay for it. Well, but they're I'm, also going to cut other taxes if they do that. But that's that's why tolls are great. It's not a tax, and if you use it, you pay for it. That's thought. I mean, you got it. It costs f- to drive from here, from St. Louis to Schaumburg or um, O'Hare Airport. It's like twelve dollars worth of tolls. <laughs> But guess what? Once they you get do. close to Chicago, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So most people, a lot of I shouldn't say most, a lot of people use tolls. It's better than taxes. If you don't like it, you don't use it. That's thought. You That's a thought. Everybody gets is is held hijacked to gas tax. Let, you got to use it. Let's. Uh, I want to pick your brain real quick on the on the news that they're going to reopen the Anthony Lamar Smith uh, civil trial. Okay. <laughs> I think that. Anytime an unarmed person is murdered, that every single bit of evidence should be expounded, brought out, found out, dug dug deep. I don't, I, I don't, I can't sit there and say I've sat in those meetings and I don't know what every detail that went on. But what I do know is that a unarmed dude got shot. Now, you can say anything you want to say about it. There are other unarmed people that don't get you. I, pu- I tried to put a video up on your thing today because I, wa- I knew this was going to come up. But I put it on the moveon.org thing, so you might want to check that out. You, you did block Scott Jones like I told you to, yeah, that's, right? That's probably, that's that's probably, thank you. That's, I appreciate that's that. That's, that's my job. <laughs> that's why. But, again, 
when so I mean everything that needs to be. I don't. I don't know enough. I don't. I just heard you talk about. I just heard about that yesterday. So I don't know why they're reopening. It's over. well, they're reopening it because the evidence that came out in the criminal trial was that they they didn't find Smith's DNA on the gun, but they did find some of the cops' DNA on the gun. They both handled it, but only the cops' DNA was on the gun. But but the, what the defense attorney is claiming is he didn't have that evidence when he settled the case in the in the wrongful death lawsuit. My issue is not with the fact that anybody should have withheld evidence and he should have been able to see all of it up front. I don't have any problem with that. The problem I see is why these cities across the country are willing to be extorted in these wrongful death lawsuits and hand out cash payments before there's any trial, any hearings, any evidence, any evidence of wrongdoing, any any conclusions drawn in an investigation that there was wrongdoing, particularly in the Stockley case. There were not even charges filed for five years. But the city just wanted to give $900,000 away to the family. They did the same thing in the Mike Brown case. Uh, they did the same thing up in Baltimore in the Gray case. Um, th- these cities have – they they I, I understand the, the, the idea that, well, if it went to court and we lost, it might cost us a lot more. Or you might, if there's I, not a if there's not a finding of wrongdoing, which there in many of these cases in a criminal court with a much higher standard, there's been no finding of wrongdoing. Well, it's you can go back. Uh, funny you say that. You can go right back. There's a lot of trials. I think there's a much higher standard in the civil than the criminal. O.J. Simpson was found innocent, but the civil court found him very guilty. What changed? If you're innocent here, if you're innocent there. If you're guilty here, probably guilty there. If there's more, so you don't have any problem with uh, the the size of some of these. Oh no, I was going to go back. To what, no, I know what you said. They probably sell it because it's probably cheaper than going to court. Yeah, I'm afraid that's that may be what I it is. I think that's 100 percent the reason. Well, let, let me, I, I'm not a fan. Of, they should take it to court. Don't don't settle until it's time to settle. So let me get your thoughts on this. What's going on in Sacramento right now? So they announced no charges in the Alton Sterling case in Louisiana, which is about the most ridiculous thing I could ever hear. But go ahead. The, okay, we can talk about that one too. <laughs> and the, and then the one in Sacramento where they've got the helicopter video, of the kid hitting, breaking windows or whatever, and then running through a backyard. And I've got the audio here of the cops telling them, you know, put, Except show for, your hands, show your hands, gun, bang, 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 bang. And then you hear the 15 or 20 shots, however many there were. And is that the part where they, where they turn their mics off? After, after that. Okay. They after, muted, they muted them after that. They muted it after that. Okay. So, so one, one, so one cop was white, one cop was black. I, hey, every cop, but they're, but, but it's a, but it's, and so, got a so it's all too. cops. Right, it's all cops. Cops or police officers or police officers. There's been situations where black officers have been just as culpable as white officers. We don't always know at the time. You know? So I guess I was talking to Chet Pleban about this earlier. If I understand Ben Crump, and he's the attorney who's represented the he was in town during the the the, the Mike Brown case, he was in the Trayvon Martin case, he's been in a lot of these cases. I, I'm I'm still not clear on how he wants officers to react in a situation like that. So if you were the officer running around, we've seen the video at least, and we most of us have heard the audio and seen the video. Do, do you go around the corner, you think somebody's got a gun, and you wait to see if they shoot at you first? Is that basically well, the change we're looking for? Because uh, I'm trying to figure out how you, how you avoid every single one of these situations going forward. Well, I think, unfortunately, that if you take the thousands and thousands of situations that police officers find themselves in that probably 90 plus percent they do things the right way there's all you know you're human your emotions are high you got to have police officers that don't think of a of a criminal chase as a video game or or you're trying to run for a touchdown or something you know what you're dealing with I think that you don't have to shoot somebody 20 times if it's for you or two of you and one of him. I don't I've never been there. I've never been done the simulation game. I don't know what situ I've never been in a situation like that. My p- friends of mine that are police officers, I don't think they would want to talk about it. So I don't know the situations. The situation that gets it twisted is it's, it seems to always be an unarmed black male. Now, the video that I've told you about, I really want you to look at it because this is a unarmed white male that is doing everything you could ever dream about that would get you shot 25 times in the behind. 
Where, where did this happen? This happened. I don't know the city, but it's. Uh, it, I think it was somewhere in Florida. So it's on. I put I put it on the moveon.org thing, and not when I put something on there. Move on. Move on. Chris. Chris, Chris, Chris move on up. Move on up. Okay, move that on, you on missed thing. the up. You threw I'm me sorry, off. Forgot there. the up. Chris's <laughs> thing. Normally, if I put something up there, there'll be twenty five people saying something the other way. Oh my God! The police says not one person since yesterday even said, "Oh, that can't be right." That was he's. That's a different situation. Again. It's it's perception is horrible. Police have the hardest job. They should pay them just like educators pay them fifty times more and make it harder to be one. You just never know until you're There's in that a, situation I, what you're going to do. I would never draw the conclusion that anybody deserves to die for vandalism or necessarily just running from police or whatever the case may be. But what I what I've never heard anybody explain to me completely is that in all of these cases. It's somebody doing something the police have told them not to do. Ain't no, and that's and that is the big. It's, it's gr- the case with Mike Brown. It's the case with that's, Anthony Lamar Smith. It's the case with uh, uh, Alton Sterling in Louisiana. But then you think he about, did have a loaded thirty-eight in his pocket, and he and the police responded there to reports of a man brandishing a gun. And then you got the, both of them with their foot on his neck, and they still decide to shoot him when he's laying on the ground. The guy, the kid, the guy up in Minneapolis but, who told the police my, officer, but, "I have, I am legally carrying." But, but and the my, guy decided to shoot him anyway. But my point, Scott, culpability is that doesn't matter. That, that case you just brought up is the one exception to the ones I've been talking about. Was the guy sitting in the car? But but for the other cases, it was people who put themselves in that situation, and that's a, and that's and, and then that's ignored the part get, what the police told them. That to is do. the part that gives me the chills because again. You're so right. I beg my son, and I beg every black or white young male that I know, you will never win a fight with a police officer on the street. Ever. Do right. exactly what you're told and do it with a, I don't want to say with a smile on your face, but do it and keep your, do everything in your power to keep yourself out of situations. If you run, chances are you are going to be executed. I'm sorry. There is no other way to say it. Don't run. And your chances of survival kind of rise. But if you resist, your chance and, and, I, and that's not even the shootings. There are I am sure that if you run and the police officers don't shoot you, you will be getting multiple um nightsticks, nightsticks stuck up your head, stuck you up seen, your behind. You it's just like the Chris Rock video about how, how not to get your butt kicked. That's right. If 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 a cop I mean, so it's so yeah, it's, yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's such it's such a and it's been, and you know, it's when not, 1992, and nobody ever believed that police officers did things like this. When Rodney King came out, you saw it on video. 25 guys beating his brains out. Oh, he was trying to resist. You see it on video, and you, and you still aren't convinced. And that was 1992. And that was, and so you can only imagine what happened prior to that. Sure. So, again, I get it. Don't resist. I just, I, I'm, I'm just saying statistically, it, it doesn't, the, the figures don't bear out. 100%. Statistically, they don't. Your chances of something hap- a police officer doing something to you are minuscule. But when it happens, it's kind of like most things. You're not going to get struck by lightning. You know, you're not going to win the lottery, and you're probably not going to get shot by a police officer. But guess what? It happens, unfortunately. Scott? Always good to have you in, my friend. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Oh, I it's, it's, I, it's a I appreciate that. Thanks for harassing me on uh, on on text hey. and. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> During the show, I'll get text that's from okay. Scott. Did you say? Brother? No, no. It's pretty funny. You, 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 you know, I try. I try to. Be <laughs> I know you minded do. About these I things. know you do. And that's why I invite you on the show right. all the time. If you, Thank if, you. If, if you can't, if you can't have these kind of discussion, I love discussion, race, politics, and religion because it's fun. And if you can't do it and not act a fool while you're doing it. You shouldn't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> well put. Scott Jones, thank you. 314-241-9797 is the phone number down here. I'll get to your calls right after this. This is the Mark Cox Show. Informed 
been up to date. Stormy Daniels. He never asked me not to tell anyone. President Trump denied the accusations. Totally ridiculous. The news and talk station for St. Louis. This is the largest expulsion. Expulsion of Russian intelligence officers in the United States history. Australia expelling two Russian diplomats. The wait for what Moscow will say. FM News Talk 97.1. Facebook. Facebook data. Personal information. 